Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Ritchie, and I want to thank you for joining us again today. Today, we're going to follow a patient through as they receive a laser treatment. Now, what I'd like to point out and explain a little bit ahead of time is exactly what we're going to be doing. When I do cataract surgery, I remove the cataract, but I leave the outer shell, the capsule, and it is that capsule that holds the lens implant. Unfortunately, in about 20% of people, that capsule will cloud over. If it clouds over, it can blur vision. We call that a posterior capsular opacification. So the treatment we're going to see today is a laser treatment done with a machine called a YAG laser, and we're going to make an opening in that posterior capsule. So this is a patient who has previously had cataract surgery and whose posterior capsule has clouded over. Now I want to also point out this is not LASIK surgery. Just because we're using a laser does not mean that this is LASIK. LASIK is an entirely different procedure done with an entirely different laser. So we do have multiple lasers that we can use for different tasks. This one is a YAG laser capsulotomy. Watch and see. You can have a seat right there on the side. Which eye are we working on for you today? Left. Left eye. Wonderful. Your birthday, please. All right. I'm going to just flip this on your left wrist. One of our checks are cold. So what I'm going to do is just get started with some eye drops in that left eye. And we'll just... Um, Put them in a couple minutes apart. They sting for about 30 seconds. Okay. It's just going to numb and dilate that eye. Okay. Is that the sting? Good. And you have your drops already at home or with you? I brought them with Oh, okay, great. Um, we'll use our own to get started when you're done. Okay. But you're going to do the drops as listed on this sheet here. Okay. The gray capped. It looks like this. It's going to be four times a day. Okay. The purple top, bromonidine, twice a day. Both for one week. Okay. And we'll start you on one of each before you go. And then lunchtime, you can do the four times a day, both at supper time, once um, with the gray cap again at bedtime. Okay. And so just fin follow that routine for one week and you'll be fine. Okay. They'll see you downstairs in the clinic again on the 14th. Okay. 9.40. Do you have any questions about the drops? No, I've done this before. All right, so. sounds good. <laughs> I will just do a quick blood pressure on you. Okay. Do you have sunglasses to wear outside? I do. Okay, perfect. You're going to want those. Is that I will be dilated maybe even till tomorrow. Oh. That's not uncommon. Okay. You'll notice over the next couple of days you might have some floaters in the vision that you will, will go away on its own. Just okay. takes a little bit of time. And I'll do one more. Drop, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> there you go, perfect. Not as bad this time, huh? That numbing's starting to work in there. And so we're gonna let you sit for about ten minutes. Alright. Check back with you. Do you need some coffee, water, orange juice while you wait? Nothing. Nothing? Alright. There are some magazines here if you want to read something while you go. Okay. I'll put that in my purse. Oh, yeah. Alright. All right. That's it. All right. Thank you. So check back with you in a few minutes. Hello, Mary. Hello. How are you today? Good. Good. Which eye are we working on? Left. Perfect. Any questions about what we're going to do? No. All right. Let me sign a couple things. Okay. All right. So like we talked about in the office, uh, the laser is a machine that looks just like the machines we have downstairs. Okay, I got to get a numbing drop for you. So all we need to do this is a numbing drop. Here's tissue for you. All right, go ahead and dab it. You get this chair right here. Perfect. Okay, so this is the laser. Hands go right up on the table. 
bring it down so you're comfortable. Okay, chin on the chin rest, forehead all the way forward. So we're working on your left eye, so the right eye is going to look right at this green light. I have my little magnifying contact lens. So like we talked about downstairs, this is going to keep you from blinking. It's going to hold your eye steady. And it magnifies for me. So you're looking right there. The laser is nothing more than a bright light. It's just highly focused. Now when I, do, when I shoot the laser, you're going to hear a snapping sound. Don't be alarmed. All right. Doesn't take very many laser spots. Like I said, it's usually 10 to 30. There we go. That is all we need. Excellent. I take the magnifying contact lens off. Now your eye is going to feel kind of thick and goopy. Sit back. We're done. Okay. It'll be blurry all day today because your pupils dilated. Okay. Because we shined a bright light at you. Okay. And because when I use that protective contact lens, I put a jelly goop on there to protect your eye. Oh, okay. Okay? Uh, the pupil will come down over the course of the next 12 hours. Okay. And as your pupil comes back down and the eye clears out the jelly goop, your vision will improve. Okay. The ladies will come in in a moment. They'll go over the eye drop routine with you, and you'll be good to go. All right. All right? Well done. Good. <laughs> I hope you found that informational and somewhat enjoyable. As you can see, a YAG laser capsulotomy is a pretty straightforward procedure that does require that we use the laser here in the surgery center. It's just one more of the um, opportunities that we have right here at Crossroads Surgery Center to make your life easier as a patient. Thank you for joining me and I look forward to next month.